In John chapter 10, Jesus tells his hearers that he is the door of the sheep. By contrast, Jesus says that all who have come before him were thieves and robbers. Jesus is referring to the illegitimate religious leadership of Israel. The scribes and Pharisees had convinced many people that they were the true spiritual leaders, but Jesus exposes them as illegitimate. He calls them thieves and robbers. This explains, of course, why the religious leadership hated Jesus so much. Because Jesus is the true spiritual shepherd of Israel, His coming exposed them as fake, as impostors. Hence, they wanted to kill Jesus to preserve their own stolen positions of entitlement. The people who heard Jesus and joyfully responded to Him were the true spiritual sheep of Israel. Jesus' life and message resonated in their hearts. They recognized Him for who He is as the true King of Israel. And so as more and more people believed in Jesus, this caused the false religious leadership to hate Jesus all the more. We read in John chapter 12 as Jesus triumphantly rides into Jerusalem and the Pharisees watch this and in their despair they say, look, the whole world has gone after him. This is because Jesus really is the true shepherd of Israel and the Pharisees were false. They were imposters. Either they too must come through the door, which is Jesus, or else reject that door and try to do away with Jesus to preserve their own stolen positions. Sadly, they choose the second alternative. They loved their positions more than they loved the truth. Of course, Jesus knew their false motives. Jesus knew the religious authorities hated him and that they wanted to kill him. And yet Jesus had his own agenda. As the good shepherd gives his life for the sheep, so too Jesus had come as Israel's true shepherd to give his life for those that he loves.